<laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We finally had some good news in our game inbox already announcing a scheduled maintenance for an update that is coming on November the 5th, so basically just in a few hours. And even on Twitter, the MKMBA team then has released further information that this update will be a patch update, so very, very likely it will fix a lot of the bugs that we have around and that have been implemented into the game with 3.0. And for us, this now means that we will have to set up at least 8 hour quests, because maintenance time takes its good long time. You guys know how it works by now. The maintenance will start at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, and this patch update will also include Cold War Scarlet, who will be then available on Friday at least, according to what the MK Mobile Team let us know so far. And then there also was a very nice message in our inboxes, which made me very, very happy that was that they increased their game security and hackers will have a way tougher time now. But by the words of MK Mobiles themselves, our players having a fair and fun experience is always our top priority. As part of a continuing effort to protect our players, we have improved our security systems. Whoever uses hacking methods to get ahead in the game will be banned. Those who are violating the terms of service and have not been banned, consider this your only warning. So MK Mobile is hopefully really cracking down on this issue finally. And I can only say that I am 100% supporting this. But since I can assume that most of you are legit anyway, because why else would you watch a channel like mine that is speaking up vehemently against hacking in general, and even I'm starting that with a disclaimer in front of every video now, I also have some information for those who have missed it so far, and that is regarding the final dates of the tower events. And for the Tower of Horror, it is set to November the 9th. And for the Nightmare Tower, it will be December the 8th. And please keep in mind that these dates still can change depending on if they are going into an extension of the Tower events, which was the case so far for every single Tower event. So it's very, very likely that it will come for these Tower events as well. But we have to wait and see about that. But so far you got the first dates, so keep that in mind, put it into your schedule and then plan your tower fights accordingly. But that's so far for the news section and we directly continue with the challenge for High Tech Jackie Briggs who was around the last time in March of this year. So it's been a few months and now she is back and we will of course as usual play the Elder difficulty, the final tower, the final six matches and we will need Devora and Sonya Blade in our team. Then let's get into that one. I'm starting to prepare the things here for you guys and we are opening here and I am adding Black Dragon Cabal. Alright then, we are opening here with Swarm Queen Devora, but I just gave her the Ice Bomb. And now, of course, we have the random tag-in also as a problem, so let's try to get a few hits in against MK11 Jade. 
who of course loves to use her passive, but here we go for the first special one, and that should deal some solid damage, and now we can go for Cabal, but I don't want to use his special too, because I want to keep that one for Assassin Jade on the outside, but unfortunately we have to deal now with Assassin Kitana, but then let's just go continue with Swarm Queen Devora and go for the next special one here. We have no control over the tags and now Combat Cup Sonya just timed out um, Assassin Kitana and now we have to take down Jade and here is Assassin Jade and now we have to kind of wait for Cabal to come in because he can basically attack her with his special 2 without Jade being able to retaliate just like here. I had to try it but now here we go merry-go-round for Cabal in his black dragon variation and Assassin Jade is out of this match and back comes Assassin Kitana stabbing us in the neck but she also is not capable of evading our combo enders or special attacks but here in this case now we get the special 2 going by Sonya Blade and she gets us the victory. Continuing now with match number two and this time I am going for MK11 Sub-Zero and we are facing cosplay Jackie Briggs and we are opening with a few basic hits and go for the first combo ender and now we have the special two ready but we should take out cosplay Jackie just with the basics and now take Takeda out with the special two so this way his passive will not even take any time from us. And now we are left with Covered Up's Cassie Cage and the special one almost takes her down. Now just going for the special two of Sonya as soon as we are ready and Cassie doesn't interrupt us anymore. Here we go special two and that's the victory. Match number three now here I added MK11 Jade because she is completely immune to the fire DOT and now here we already take out Sector with a special two and now we retaliate against Sub-Zero Tribor combo ender by Jade here and now another one and let's go for a timeout so he is low on health and we can deal now with Smoke Triborg. Unfortunately, he power drained us here before we got to the special two. Let's just use a special one. She needs that for feats of strength anyway. Then we have one more worked up. And then we go for the special two here by Jade again, taking out Smoke Triborg in the process. And now only Sub-Zero Triborg comes back and so low on health. Let's just used a special two here of Swarm Queen Devora. Why not? I haven't seen that in a long time. And now we have a victory thanks to that.
And on to the next match now with MK11 Scorpion opening against Hellspawn Scorpion. Directly using a special one and now the crushing blow disables his special attacks. And now we can tag to Venomous Devora and take him out with a special one. Now we have Vengeful Chinook here, combo. And now he's bleeding and another combo ender takes him out easily. Now special one by Venomous Devora. As you can see, Devora is so strong. Victory with ease. Now for the next match we get Black Dragon Cabal back in here because we have another Assassin Jade taking her out directly with a special 2. And then we have another Wretch Devora and we attack her with Venomous Devora. That special one took her almost out and now a few basic hits later she is gone as well. Assassin Kitana. Let's just l l wait until she did her special one and tag back to Cabal. And now the special one by Cabal. And that was almost a victory. Let's do the block again against the special one. And unfortunately no brutality but a victory regardless. And here we already reached the boss fight against boss high tag Jackie Briggs. Opening here with balance Kenshi, but only so I can tag to Sonya for the X ray. Then directly applying a shield to the entire team in case that Jackie is not going down. And she isn't, she is about halfway down in health. Now a combo ender by Sonya. Jackie is already fighting back. Let's go for Venomous Devora and her special one attack just to get some poison DOT going and now her basic attacks deal way more damage and so does the special one even when blocked. It's still doing something here and we added a second poison and now, now we could even go for a final finish with Balance Kenshi special 2 and victory. Here we get the 100 souls reward as well as the 54 for the sell back. We get the flawless victory screen once again, here completion count number 2. And that brings me to the end of this video. I guess we will see you guys then here with the next update. I will just assume it will be update 3.0.1 but at this point I'm not really making any predictions anymore because most of the time they are wrong anyways. But let's hope that we have a way more bug free game after this than we have it now. Fingers crossed.
Thank you for tuning in once again. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. In case you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button twice just to make sure. And if you want to support the channel a little further, please consider joining the Patreon family of KC Mobile Gaming. You can already do that with as little as just $1 a month. And also follow me on social media like Twitter and Facebook. You will find all the necessary information in the description below of every video. If you want to see more content, then why don't you just click on one of those two videos here. Thank you for your support. Have a good one. Casey over and out for today.